Wow. What a wild card weekend that was. Uh, first off, let's start with the fact that the road teams, all the road teams won. I don't know I don't know when the, if that's happened before, when the last time this happened, but it's just a crazy anomaly. What would think that one of these home teams win, but, but they didn't. Kansas City walks into Houston and blew them out. Pittsburgh went to Cincinnati, and during all that war, a football game broke out, and Pittsburgh won it. Seattle went to Minneapolis, and thanks to a chip shot that went wide to the left, uh, Seattle wins. And in the main event of Wild Card Weekend, the Packers lost our nation's capital and emerged victorious. Let's start with that, shall we? You know, the prejudice against Aaron Rodgers is, 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 is getting old very fast. One little thing goes wrong, all of a sudden he can't do it anymore. Yeah, they make excuses for everybody else, <clears throat> Brady. <clears throat> but, but one if Rogers puts on one banana peel, all of a sudden he's not good anymore. But what happened when we were down eleven nothing? What did Rogers do? What Rogers always does: come through in the clutch. Seventeen points in the second quarter, and we never looked back. You like that? <laughs> I just had to throw that in. I had to throw that in. And it's fitting that I'm wearing the shirt of the guy who first mocked the thing, Randall Cobb. He posted, he was showing a video doing the You Like That uh, shot at Kirk Cousins. <laughs> oh, man. But, um, anyway, so that happened. And, um, poor Houston. Poor Houston. I just feel for Houston. The, the, well, at least they got in the playoffs, but they scored nothing. It's like they weren't there at all. Kansas City started off with that. It started off bad because Kansas City had that kickoff return, and after that, Kansas City beaten, beat them, destroyed them, and beat them and destroyed Houston. And the Texans were basically left fried, died, and laid to the side. It was awful. And how about the Chiefs? 11 straight wins. 11 straight wins for Kansas City. Even better, they got a proverbial playoff monkey off their back. They had lost eight straight playoff games. That was the long, they had the longest streak in, 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 in history, in NFL history, the longest current streak. And they got that monkey off their back and with their 11 straight victory. They won 11 straight since starting 1-5 and five in having one foot in the grave and the other banana peel. So they're on a roll. I don't know what I don't know what these teams are drinking down to Kansas City. <laughs> Maybe the city of Cleveland could use some. But <laughs> I digress. Anyway. Uh boy, what can I say about that Seattle Minnesota game? It was ugly. It was crazy and ugly. Minnesota was up nine nothing uh uh entering the fourth quarter. Nothing was done right. Russell Wilson wasn't doing anything right. Of course, he damn well never does. But um, the fourth quarter, he made it happen. Got they got in the end zone and they kicked the field goal. Speaking of field goals, the field goal that that field goal try that would have won it for Minnesota went just wide. It was a chip shot. It was a 27-yard field goal. Uh, uh, which is which is now what six yards closer than the new extra point, which makes it worse. And the story is where they say the laces were out. And right when I heard it, right when I heard the laces was out, that first thing I thought it was Ace Ventura. You, you know, a lot of a lot of you saw that movie, know that line from uh, know that line that movie, laces out, laces out. <laughs> but um, yeah, and um, it, it was it was awful. It was awful. Minnesota showing why they weren't worthy of winning our division. Why the NFC North will always be the Packers division. Because this would never happen to us. But, um, so, and of course, I have to, the main story, of course, was Pittsburgh and Cincinnati. With World Wars 3 and 4 breaking out in that city. Bengals fans still crying. 
claiming that the refs helped the Steelers when in actuality the refs were helping the Bengals. I saw a whole bunch of stuff. I saw a whole bunch of stuff in that in that game. They called a lot of ticky tack stuff on Pittsburgh. And uh but in and the refs did their part to kind of control it because it was getting crazy and heated for the start. It, but leave it to the bungles to shoot themselves in the foot. We we all saw how we all saw how it ended. How how that go? Um, they still had a lead late. Um, Landry Jones, who came in for Ben Roxburger because that shoulder injury just popped up again, he throws a pick. But in bungles, typical bungles fashion. They fumble it, and there's life with the Steelers. And then and on their drive, uh, Vontae's perfect, that moron, committed <laughs> a, a, a personal foul penalty, clear helmet to helmet shot. And then Adam Jones, and that, and, and that penalty put a field goal rage, and Adam Jones made the field goal easier with his conduct. So... So, in the end, Pittsburgh ends up winning the game with a field goal, and since he... Now they have the longest streak. They've lost eight straight playoff games now. They have the longest active streak now. And they keep getting, and Marvin keeps getting them in the playoffs, and they keep falling on their faces in January. And people want to blame Marvin Lewis. Let's say one day straight. If it wasn't for Marvin Lewis, Cincinnati would be a 4 12 team every year. They have no quarterback, they only have one receiver. Yet, uh, they're. Yet they're in the playoffs every year. It's obviously because of Marvin. It's been rampant with Cincinnati. Because look at the Cincinnati Reds. All they have is Joey Votto and Dusty Baker got in the playoffs every year. Because we all know what a G is Dusty is, but that's another sport. And um, Burford got the hammer laid down on him. Three game suspensions, which he's appealing for some ungodly reason. I don't know why. People saying, well, what about Joey Porter? He, sh he should have been on the field. Yeah, he should. It's not the head coach. Only the head coach can't be on the field. He's not the head. He had every right to be there. You know, these pro, these these Bengals crybabies need to stop it. They boo it again. Get over it. And um, so the matchup, so, so, so here are the matchups now for the divisional round. The divisional round, um, because Pittsburgh won, Kansas City will go to Foxborough and face New England. That's going to start off the weekend. And Pittsburgh will head to Denver on Sunday. That will end the weekend. That will be the second game on Sunday. Kansas City New England will be the first game on Saturday. Um, because because um, Seattle won their wild card game, Green Bay, who won after that, we're heading to Arizona. And we owe the Cardinals an ass whooping. We really do. And and this again back to the disrespect but, uh, at the Packers. People talking about how Arizona blew us out thirty-eight to eight two weeks ago. I, this is all I keep hearing from the media. Well, the Packers they got bought out. They just got bought out by the team two weeks ago. You know, they, acting like it's gonna happen again. But um, one person, one person on there, Frank Isola said that game doesn't matter see he said what unbiased people would say that game doesn't matter see this guy like said this prejudice against Aaron Rodgers and the, and the Packers all because he's wearing the same number as a certain quarterback in Foxborough that Rodgers is better than and um and, and, and if it was that certain quarterback in Foxborough that got blown out that was playing against a team in the playoffs that blew him out two weeks ago, I'm pretty certain there will be a whole lot of excuses. Well, that game doesn't matter. Plus, they had injuries. Uh, we had injuries, too. A guy named Jordy Nelson missed the whole season. But, um... But, um... Let's get one thing. We are good enough to beat Arizona. And we're going to beat Arizona. The other NFC game is Seattle and Carolina. That's Sunday. That's the first game on Sunday. Now... This is the interesting thing. The Packers could end up hosting the NFC Championship game. That's if we win, if Seattle wins. Um, if we win and Seattle wins, it'll be a rematch of last year, but the difference is it'll be in Lambeau. So, but 
I don't see Seattle getting past Carolina. No, 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 no. Carolina's too strong. They're too powerful to do everything right. They're 15 and 1, but that's the only thing that doesn't matter because the Packers were once 15 and 1 and didn't even get to the championship. So anything's possible. But, um, but yeah, I don't see Seattle getting past Carolina. It'll probably be Packers and Carolina for the champ for the championship. And uh, as for the AFC, I wouldn't be surprised if Alex Smith does beat the Patriots. He's good enough to. He's on a roll. He hasn't lost since what October. He hasn't lost since mid October, so anything's possible. In Pittsburgh and Denver. That's the real toss up now, isn't it? Because Ben, he's got that. His, it was announced his shoulder was separated. So it's 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 going to be an uphill climb for the Steelers. But they have they did beat uh, the Broncos this season, but they beat Brock Osweiler. They got to go against Omaha, Peyton Manning in Denver. But I would think the Steelers would pull it out of me. They're, they seem to be on a team in a mission. They seem on a team in a mission. They seem to be more determined. So, that's my review of Wild Card Weekend. What a wild weekend. Uh, the divisional round should be even crazier. So, with that I say, until next week, enjoy the playoffs.